A bill that would ban abortions in Florida after the 15-week mark is now on the governor's desk. It was passed late last night after an emotional debate in the Senate. News for Jack's reporter Corley Peel spoke with organizations that are for and against the bill, and she's live with what happens next, Corley. Governor DeSantis has signaled that he will be signing that bill into law. And I spoke with those who were for and against those who were for the 15 week abortion ban say they feel it will save lives while those opposed feel it's a violation of human rights. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis was in Jacksonville on Friday. He says he is ready to sign the bill that makes abortions illegal after 15 weeks. The Florida Senate passed House Bill 5 on Thursday. Well, this is a late term. So, I mean, these are, this is late. Uh, these are protections for, for babies that have heartbeats, that can feel pain. I think the protections are, are warranted. And uh, I think that uh, we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to sign that in short order. Andrew Sherval is the founder of Florida Voice for the Unborn. He feels the bill is a good start. I think it is a step in the right direction. It's estimated to save about 5,000 unborn children's lives here every year in Florida. The bill does not allow exceptions for rape or incest. An abortion would be allowed to save a woman's life. Physical impairment to the mother if the pregnancy is carried to full term and if doctors certify that the baby will not survive. Kanisha Fuller is the president of the Women's March in Jacksonville. She feels the bill is harmful to women. We have a right to decide whether or not we want to reproduce and that is our choice between us and our doctor and that disproportionately affects women of color, disproportionately affects um, poor communities, people in rural communities. According to the Agency for Healthcare Administration, roughly 80,000 abortions were reported in Florida in 2021. Roughly 4,800, which is about 6%, came after 12 weeks of pregnancy. House Bill 5 comes as a U.S. Supreme Court appears poised to uphold a similar 15-week abortion ban law in Mississippi. Experts believe the court could overturn Roe v. Wade, which sets a current limit for abortion in Florida at 24 weeks. And if it does, then Florida and her sister states will once again have, I believe, the ability to fully protect unborn children. We are depending on our Supreme Court to uh, uphold that and to protect us because this is a violation of human rights. Kamala Harris posted on Twitter later this afternoon saying last night the Florida Senate passed House Bill 5, which effectively bans access to abortions after 15 weeks. This bill is extreme by any standard. The right of women to make decisions about their own bodies is non-negotiable. Again, that was a tweet from Vice President Kamala Harris earlier this afternoon. Now, Governor DeSantis, it's unclear exactly when he will sign that bill, but he says he plans for it to go into effect by July 1st. Reporting live from downtown. Corley Peel Channel for the local station.